Keeping kids safe on Halloween, of course, no easy task. And tonight, deputies conducted a special operation to make sure sex offenders stay away from trick-or-treaters. Yeah, new tonight, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall shows us exactly what they did. Dia. Yeah, Mike and Rhiannon, this is something they actually did last year as well. Porches across the metro were probably more busy tonight than any time all year from those trick-or-treaters looking to score some candy. Tonight, though, there was a unit on the streets making sure sex offenders stayed inside. Right. Halloween is all about the costumes and kids on the hunt for candy. So tonight, deputies were on the road to check up on the more than 2,200 sex offenders in Jackson County. So, you know, to make sure that they're not tempted to do something, but also, you know, the community safety of the kids and, you know, parents out walking around. Well, you know why we're here, right? Yeah, so, okay. And the lights on enough. That's not all. A new ordinance passed in August also requires sex offenders to stay inside after 5 p.m. We double check to make sure they're actually in that location at the time of that evening. They have to post a sign too. Just write on it, you know, no, no candy and no treats available, and just put it on the door. I wish I would stop harassing them. Children have to be protected. Community has to be protected, and it's part of serving the community uh, with expectations of, of an experience and professionalism. These deputies working from dusk till dark, shining their light to make sure it's all treats and no tricks for kids this Halloween. Thank you very much. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. Thank you. Sorry to I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. Sex offenders who aren't following the statute could get citations and in some cases be arrested. Tonight, though, there were no tickets and no arrests. Dia Wong, 41 Action News. Dia.